you can see we're starting to get uh, starting to get it together here. We've got all our little bowls. We use a bunch of paper bowls. Makes it easier for cleanup later. I've got another set of videos where my wife is making some soup and she also uses this bamboo shoot. Is that the pork rib soup you were making or what What was that? I think that is the, um, the salty pork and the fresh pork and the bamboo Right. Together. Yeah, that's another set of videos. I'll try to put a link here, uh, maybe right there in the corner. So this is basically the bamboo that, you know, right when it's coming out of the ground. It's kind of the same idea as getting an artichoke heart. It's the middle center part that's the tastiest. So when you make the, the soup, you usually make big chunks, right? Not, right. not thin slices. This is more right. for the hot pot. She's making yes. thin slices. Yes. Because hot pot, you really just want to put in there and for, you know, a couple minutes you can eat it. You cannot wait that long. But when I cook the soup, I will cook it for probably a couple hours, even more than that. That's why I need a big chunk. Yeah. So that's actually a lot. A bamboo shoot and you know I'll, some of this stuff is too much like I'm not gonna eat that many mushrooms I love mushrooms and I love these are my favorite but we're not gonna eat that many so when we're done we just put a bunch of get a bunch of uh, Ziploc bags and put it away and a couple days later we'll have some leftovers we'll do it again just kind of make more my wife makes it more like a, a, a soup when she does that um, but it's the same idea you know, it's just a hot pot, hot soups. Yeah, the thing with fish is it's kind of touchy in the hot pot. You have to really um, time it right. If you don't cook it long enough, then you don't really get any hot pot flavor into the meat. But if you cook it too long, it'll just kind of disappear. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to melt. Yeah, which so actually makes your soup taste better. But. So we really suggest you to use this. When you are doing the hot pot, when you cook the fish, you put the fish meat inside of here and then cook it. Right. Once it's got done, the whole piece of meat is still in there. Otherwise, when it's cooked, when the fish is fully cooked, it's already melted. You cannot even find it. Right. Part of the fun of hot pot is uh, finding the little treasures at the bottom of the pot. It's the best when, when you know, we put the, the pork rib. We're not doing that today because we're trying to watch and trying to be on a diet. Although I wouldn't recommend eating hot pot if you're on a diet, because uh, you'll just eat a lot. But uh, yeah, usually when we make the rib soup, uh, that's always at the bottom of the hot pot. So after you've had all this really good stuff on top, then you get this bonus uh, ribs that have been cooking for hours, you know, in the bottom of the hot pot. My wife will usually make that soup uh, a lot earlier, you know, like four hours before we eat. She'll make the soup and leave the, leave the ribs in there just kind of uh, simmering for a few hours. So they're very tasty. 